guys, it's Tiff. I'm here with a card share. I'm not going to do a process on these. I'm just going to share them with you. But I had a couple of YouTube buddies that I wanted to send these out to. Uh, so you're going to see this video hopefully after they've already received them or will be receiving them that day or something. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and, and share them with you guys. So, so um, the first one is this one. And I have a Simon Says stamp haul to go along with this card, so I'm going to kind of intertwine that. But I used um, this navy base that Alex had sent me from the Paper Source, I believe is the name of the store that she loves. And I love this card stock. It's great. It's just as good as Paper Tray Ink or MFT card stock. I really, really like this card stock. And I used um, the Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm. This card is actually going to be for Marissa. She's Ma'am1016 and she's actually having a giveaway right now. Um, if you make a card and send it to her, you get so many entries. Or if you just make a card and do a video, then um, I think you get less entries. I I'm not sure of all the details. Check her channel out. Um, she's really sweet. She actually just sent me a rack, and so I just wanted to make a card either way for her. Um, so, but I'm going to be sending this one to her, and I really like how it turned out. So, the stamp set that I use, let me grab that really fast, is this stamp set, and it's a Christina Warner stamp set, and it is called Shoot for the Stars, and it looks like this, and I love it. And the first reason I picked it up was for this stamp right here, and it says, You're one great day away from superhero status. And I want to make my son's birthday card with that, because he's obsessed with superheroes, as you've heard me talk about many a times. It has this really neat um, circular star pattern, and then this says, um, Thinking of you makes me happy, which I thought was perfect for um, just kind of an everyday card. Shoot for the stars, and then there's some stars, a little smiley face, number one. Then this says, so glad the rumor is true. And it goes with this top one, and th these are the two stamps that I use for her card. It says, I heard you're amazing, and then so glad the rumor is true. So really, really cute. And then, um, so on the front, I used, I heard you're amazing. And then on the inside, I did... So glad the rumor is true, and I used um, some navy ink for that. And then this is a Spellbinders die. It's an anchor. Isn't it cute? Oh, my goodness. It's like a whole seaside-themed Spellbinders set, and I found it at AC Moore for 10 bucks. and I'm going to not even lie to you. I hope to use some of the other ones that came in the set, but I really got it just to have this anchor die. Then this is a piece left over from this arrow pattern, and I just made a little banner up at the top, and then I'll write her, you know, little thing here. And then you may not be able to see this, but I did some tone tone stamping with navy. So then the other thing I wanted to show you that I got from Sam says stamp on this card is this bow. How cute is it? These two are stickers that came with the Dear Lizzie collection, but that bow is um, also from Simon Says Stamp. And, hang on one second, sorry guys. And this is the die. I love it. Actually, let me take it out. And I got a tip for you. Until you get ready to store these, when I first get dies, I don't put them in my storage system. Because I want to try to use them a few times before I do that. So I just, just like, um, I've seen people do that with their stickers where you cut off the side or the top and make it easy to get out. That's what I do. But anyways, this is what the die looks like. So you cut it out, and then you fold these two pieces back. These become the little um, little pieces that hang down. And I did actually have to cut them just a smidgen for where I wanted to place it on this card. And then this is the center part. So for this card, I made the bow all one color. And the arrow paper, this middle one, I just used pop dots. I don't know if you can see that. and made it kind of wavy. And then the other two are steadfast to the card. So, and this is some Heidi Swap Color Shine in Mint Julep. Not Mint Julep. <laughs> this is Mr. Huey's color. Mint Green. Sorry, guys. So, that's my first card. Now, I used that die on the second card as well. But I'm going to go ahead and finish showing you the other stuff that I got from Simon Says Stamp. So, I picked up this die. I'm not going to take it out. Um, actually, yes, I am. I told you a story. Hopefully I'm not going to run out of time. 
I want you to kind of see the size of it. So this is the size of it, and it says love, family, and life. So really cute. These are great. I measured um, when I first got this, I held this up to a project life, and this family, which is the longest word in the die, fits perfectly across the three by four. So um, I got this thinking that I could use it for cards or project life, um, and these words are perfect for either one. Again, it's life, family, and love. So, really cute um, die. I absolutely love that. I'm not sure if it has a stamp set that goes with it. It wasn't, I didn't see it listed with one. But, um, really like that. And then the other die that I got is this U one. Looks like that. And, um, I'll open it as well. It's much smaller. Which is good when you see in a second the stamp set. So, in reference to, you know, my hand, that is approximately how big it is. Really cute. Um, their dies are very, um, pretty well priced. Like that bow die, I want to say it was $10 or less. The MFT ones are like $30. You get a lot more bows, so I'm not saying that it's not price point wise. I don't think there's anything wrong with the price. What I'm getting at is that I didn't know how much I would use bows, so I didn't want to invest $30 in bows. When I can invest $10 and get one bow and kind of see how I like it. If I use this one, I've already used it twice, but if I use it a lot more and get the inkling that I want a different style bow, then I may invest in the MFT ones. So that die goes with this stamp set, and it's called, and I bought it as a set because you get a little bit of a deal. It's called U, and it's a 3 by 4 set. So that's why the U is kind of small because it needs to go with these sentiments. So there's cute things like you use the die or these words you and it's like you are wonderful, you amaze me, you will do amazing things, you are blessed, you are the best, all of that kind of stuff. So it's a really cute stamp set. And I think this might be a Christina Warner stamp set too though. I'm not 100% sure on that so don't quote me. And then this one I know is one of her stamp sets, and it's called Lots of Thanks, and it's really, really cute. Um, so it says, thankful for your friendship, thankful for you, sending thanks from the heart, forever, grateful on this day. And then this is Happy Thanksgiving, and then thanks. So I've wanted this one for a little while, so... I also ordered um, another stamp set. It was a Kelly Perky stamp set, and it's called Come Sail Away With Me. But um, they let me order it, and then they sent me this letter saying that they don't have it. <laughs> I found it kind of comical because it was like, um, we will do our best to get this to you as quickly as possible and anticipate shipping at no additional cost to you. Um, so the way I look at that is if they're going to try to charge me extra shipping, then I'm going to tell them to keep it because that was the item I used my 25% off on. And I'm certainly not going to pay extra shipping when I ordered enough intentionally to get free shipping. So, anyway, <laughs> side note, I also got these, which you'll see um, in my next project, but it's the Freckled Fawn Hearts. Freckled Fawn Hearts, which I have not had yet, so I'm really excited to have those. And the last thing I got from Simon is this washi and it came in an add-on last month and I really wanted the add-on didn't get it um so I had to have the washi okay very quickly this is for another youtuber and since I'm not going to post this till if ha hopefully hopefully after she gets it this video is a hot mess guys I'm so sorry um I will tell you who it's for. It's for Crafting Kate, and um, she's done a lot of, like, wedding prep videos lately, and um, so I use my favorite color, navy, woohoo, I'm just kidding, you guys know how much I love navy, but I did a bunch of stamping, and I actually used this stamp set that I got at Joann's, it was a 97 cent, guys, and I didn't have any wedding stamps, so I wanted to see if I could make it work. So this congratulations was on there with the hearts, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to make it look like the confetti gets bigger as it goes out. And I used this freckled fawn, fre freckled fawn wood chips, and I painted them with gold lame, and I splashed some gold lame on here. I did some of the um, hearts in gold lame. I don't know if
So I wanted to include that in this card. So I'm not sure if you guys might have just lost my sound, but hopefully you're still here. Anyway, <laughs> so I would made a bow with that bow die again, and then on the inside I used a dollar stamp from Michael that said, Simply enjoy it all, and a few little more of those, and piece of pattern paper, and piece of washi that is gold, and it has hearts, which I thought was perfect. So I really like these cards that I created for our buddies here on YouTube. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and have a good day. Bye!